basic structure of the protection system. So we have the process variable detection or measurement, which can be done by the current and the voltage transformer CTs and BTs. Also, we have the process variable processing, which is uh, can be done by the protection relay itself, and the control signal conversion, which can be done by the uh, circuit uh, breaker. As you can see here, the circuit breaker is responsible for tripping the fault current if uh, the power system in the fault state. So the heart of every uh, protection system is a protection relay. So the task of the protection relay is to monitor the threshold values of the representative process variables, current and voltage, and then to react on them probably even often in uh, combination with a time uh, delay, okay? So the protection relay also can be communicated with the same substation or between substation using the automation uh, communication system, such as the SAS uh, communication uh, system. Now we will talk about the protection uh, criteria. So uh, how to distinguish between the normal operating state and the fault state? So uh, we have to develop a suitable protection criteria based on the monitored uh, process variables. So uh, this protection criteria must be chosen, okay? It can be, uh, for example, magnitude of frequency of the current or the voltage or a combination of uh, current and voltage. And we will uh, present now the most commonly applied protection uh, criteria. Okay, so uh, to apply uh, the current, for example, if we take the current as a protection criteria, there is a gap between the maximum operating uh, current. Let me operate the uh, laser pointer. Here is the maximum uh, load uh, current or maximum operating current, and here is the minimum uh, short circuit current. So there is a gap between both of them to distinguish between the normal operating state and the uh, fault state. So, for example, now we have uh, we uh, we talking about the. Uh, current as a protection uh, criteria. So the most traditional protection criteria is monitored as the RMS value of the current. But this protection criteria can be also a voltage or a differential current. But the main important thing is here is to identify or to uh, set the protection relay for the backup value and the drop off value. So the backup value in other terms called the start value, which is the start of the fault detection. And the drop off, it's the end of the fault detection. Okay, and there is a reset ratio called the drop off over the backup, and this reset ratio should be greater than 95 percentage based on the SEC uh, checklist and the IEC uh, standard. Okay, so we have different criteria can be taken into consideration. As we as we mentioned, the current, which is the most traditional protection criteria to monitor the RMS value of the current, such as the non-directional overcurrent. Also, uh, this protection criteria can be a voltage. And the voltage criteria can be applied for some protection uh, functions such as uh, over voltage and under voltage uh, protection. Also, we have the, uh, the uh, differential current, which is the uh, main difference between the primary side current and secondary side current based on the care of current uh, law. And this uh, differential current can be used for the uh, differential protection inside the transformer or for the line or bus power and motor and so on. So uh, the, 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 the different current criteria can be applied if we have uh, CTs on all sides of the protected object. Okay, so if we measure this uh, CTs in both sides of the protected object, it can be compared to what you call delta I. As you can see here, delta I means uh, differential current. Also, protection criteria can be used for impedance, which is Z. So the fault impedance is calculated from the voltage and the current at the relay location. So if this calculated impedance holds the blue appreciated value, the occurrence of fault is uh, detected. Okay, for example, we have a classic example for the impedance protection, which is the distance protection function for uh, lines or for uh, underground cable. So by calculating the impedance, the distance relay cannot only distinguish between the operating and the fault state, but it's also able to determine the location of the fault, which means the localization of the fault. Okay, we have another protection criteria can be used, such as the frequency for uh, load shedding or over and under uh, frequency. Also, we have the phase angle difference. We have the rate of change of frequency and current or the rate of change of voltage or power. So we have different protection criteria. And uh, based on the protection function used, you can identify which protection criteria is suitable for your protection uh, system. Now we will talk about the instrument transformer, which is a very integral, integral part inside the power system protection. So the main uh, concept of the instrument transformer is to transform the primary values to small secondary values in terms of voltage or uh, current. So the instrument transformer can be classified to uh, CT and VT, current transformer and voltage uh, transformer. And we have also a normal rating 
for the secondary current, which it can be one ampere or five ampere, and also the nominal rating of the voltage, which uh, is equal to 100 voltage or 110 voltage. And the main uh, other function for the instrument transformer is to provide the electrical isolation between the primary side and the secondary uh, side. So the rotation relay cannot handle and cannot uh, perform the calculation based on the primary current because the analog input of the rotation relay cannot withstand this primary current and primary voltage. That's why we have an instrument transformer to transform the primary values to small secondary values in current and voltage. And after that, it can, the position relay can process these uh, variables and can identify whether it's a normal operating state or a fault state. And here is some example of the instrument transformer, as you can see in the medium voltage and the high uh, voltage. So here is an example shown in our uh, screen how to differentiate between the current transformer and the voltage transformer in the medium voltage switch gear or in the high voltage AIS uh, switch uh, gear. Now we will talk about the current transformer specifically, as you can see. So uh, the current transformer with iron core have been and will also be in the future the most dominant instrument transformer in the switch gear. With Incorrect connection, it uh, can result in the system mail uh, function. Okay, so here is as you can see the primary value, uh, the primary side which uh, represented in P1 and P2. Here is the primary side of the current transformer, which mainly is the line for the underground feeders. Okay, and here is S1, S2 represented the uh, secondary uh, side of the current transformers. And as you can see here, the S1 is connected to the IA for phase R and IP for phase Y and IC for phase uh, B, if you have RYP or EBC or RST based on your uh, scheme. So we have uh, the normal CT ratio can be in one ampere or uh, five ampere. And as you can see here, the S2 now is grounded to provide the polarity towards the protected object. So the protected object in our case here is the overhead line or the underground cable. So if you have the ST is grounded, means the earthing point of the CT is towards the protected object. But if you have S1 is grounded, that means the uh, CT is earthed towards the bus bar, not the protected object. And you have to identify this information uh, before starting your testing and commissioning activity, because it's a very uh, integral part in our uh, protection uh, system. Okay, so we have a formal uh, classification of the current transformers. It can be a measurement uh, core and it can be protection core. So the main requirement is to identify uh, for the measurement core, for example, the main requirement is to transfer the measured quantity uh, within the range of uh, from zero ampere up to the I rated, okay, as exactly as possible. And this measurement core can be identified by the letter uh, M. For example, if we have one M10, what, what is the meaning of 1 M10 for the measurement core of the CT? Uh, the accuracy class can be called 1 M in our uh, example. But what's the meaning of 10? 10 is the security uh, factor, okay? So we have a formal, uh, a formal uh, classification of the CT can be measurement core or protection core. So what is the difference between the measurement core and the protection core? Now, with the protection core, the main requirement is to transfer the uh, fault current as exactly as possible. So it can be identified by the letter P, okay? So for example, if you have a protection call called uh, 10P10, what is the meaning of 10P10? Now the accuracy class is 10P, uh, and the accuracy limit factor is 10, okay? Which means this protection call can handle uh, 10 uh, multiplier of the uh, rated uh, current, okay? So here is the main uh, classification of the current uh, transformer in terms of the measurement core and the protection core. Another example also of the current transformer, it can be non-conventional current transformer. What is the meaning of non-conventional uh, current transformer? It's, it's not inductive current transformer. Uh, this means there is no uh, coil with non-magnetic, there is no coil uh, or no inductive coil inside the uh, current transformer. So we have example, which is the most common example of non-conventional current transformer can be called the Rigoski coil. Rigoski coil, which is a coil with non-magnetic tool. And it can be used like, uh, it can be identified by the low power instrument uh, transformer in terms of uh, from zero to 20 milliamp. So it's not a standardized uh, Rigoski coil, but it's available as an unconventional uh, current uh, transformer. So there is a more uh, integral part also for the current transformer, which is the polarity of the current transformer. 
So here is the polarity of the current transformer. As you can see in our uh, screen, we have two different examples. The first example on the left of our screen. So here is the current uh, uh, of the CT is uh, erased towards the protected object. Okay. So as you can see here, the S2 is uh, erased, which means the CT star point is erased towards the protected object, which can be the overhead line or the underground cable. Okay. So here is the current can be counted as a positive uh, current, as you can see, IA equal plus ampere. But in the other side, which is the right side of our screen, we have the S1 is erased here, which means the CT is uh, CT start point is erased towards the pass bar. So here is the current can be measured as a negative in respect to the protection uh, relay. So the wiring between the CT terminal and the current measurement input of uh, the relay defines the current measurement direction of the protection relay or defines the polarity of <clears throat> Define the polarity of the CT connected to uh, the protection uh, relay. So the relay manufacturer usually requires this information, which is the neutral of the inputs, to be connected to airs. Okay. And in our figure now, we uh, we uh, it's shown the corresponding three phase wiring, where always the start point of the CT terminal is earthed. Okay. So it can be earthed towards the protected object, also can be earthed towards the uh, bus uh, board. Okay. So uh, because the both wiring variants uh, are possible. So this information on the measurement uh, polarity must be provided to uh, the relay parameter setting uh, using the relay uh, software. So the wrong setting here will result in a wrong measurement uh, direction. And therefore, it can result in a male function of the directional function. Okay. So we have the relational function like impedance protection or directional overcurrent or directional air support. It, it's uh, depending on the, uh, this uh, information, which is the CT uh, start point grounding. However, if you can see here, here is some uh, information depends on the relay manufacturer. As you can see, for Siemens relay, it can be represented in two ways, which is in direction of line or in direction of passport. And this parameter is called the CT start point slash the neutral uh, point. But if you look to Schneider uh, manufacturer or Schneider uh, relays, it, uh, this parameter is called connection of the measurement circuit. It can be standard or reverse. Standard means in the direction of line towards the protected line. Reverse means in the direction of uh, bus power. For LED, for example, it's called the reverse polarity. So if you have a reverse polarity false, means the CT is uh, to, uh, towards the protected object. But if you have it true, means the polarity is reversed and the CT is erased towards the bus uh, power. So here is some example of how to uh, uh, simulate or how to identify the uh, polarity of the CT for different relay manufacturers. Now we will talk about the second instrument transformer in our protection system, which is the voltage uh, transformer. The voltage transformer also is transforming the primary voltage side to uh, the primary voltage measurement to secondary uh, voltage measurement to can be uh, monitored through the protection relay. And we have also a typical uh, example of the VT, which called the inductive voltage transformer. The inductive voltage transformer, which means have inductive or iron core to transform the primary values to uh, small secondary values can be handled using the uh, protection uh, relay. So here is the A capital and N capital or A and N in the uppercase letters representing the primary side of the uh, voltage transformer and A small. As you know, it's 100 over root mean square of uh, 3 or 110 voltage over the root mean square of uh, 3. Okay. We have also another example of uh, the uh, voltage transformer, which is called the CVT. CVT means the capacitive voltage uh, transformer. Okay. So uh, we have different examples, which is uh, typical inductive uh, voltage transformer and the capacitive uh, voltage uh, transformer. So according to the voltage to be measured, there are different vari variants depending on the application, which is the voltage level of the network, the protection scheme, and it can be uh, chosen in the beginning of the uh, substation uh, design. Okay, so here is another example of the instrument transformer, and also it provides isolation between the primary side and the secondary side, which is connected to the protection uh, relay. Now we will talk about the protection philosophy. Okay, so uh, we The main other errors which can happen in your protection system to provide uh, a redundant 
protection uh, philosophy. So as you can see here, we have the main and the backup protection. So what is the difference between the main and the backup uh, protection? So the main protection, uh, the purpose of the main protection, okay, is to protect the specific segment of the electrical grid. So its limits are given by the protection system of the adjacent section. But the backup protection, the purpose of this system is to uh, protect the uh, grid segment in case its main protection fails. Okay, so we have different fields of application uh, can be used for uh, overcurrent, for example. So overcurrent in the medium voltage switch gear uh, normally used as a main uh, protection with uh, time grading. So if we have do, uh, multiple stages or two stages of overcurrent, it can be different differentiated between uh, the first step and second step by using the time uh, grading. If you have non-directional overcurrent inside the medium voltage uh, switch gear, okay. So in the medium voltage switch gear, the overcurrent can be used as a main uh, protection, okay, and it will provide the trip times resulting from the time grading, which uh, shall not exceed the maximum permissible uh, thermal strain of the uh, underground cables or the overhead uh, lines. Okay, so to apply the current as a protection criteria, there is a gap between the maximum operating current, which is called IOC max, and the minimum short circuit current, which is called ISC minimum. Okay, so this gap is necessary to distinguish between the normal operating state and the fault state. Also, the direction over current can be used uh, inside the medium voltage switch gear, but in this case, we will need the current and the voltage uh, measurement. Okay, so if the non directional over current or the, the current only as a criteria is not sufficient, with a time grading, we can use the directional overcurrent to provide selectivity in our uh, protection uh, system. Also, there is another example which is called the distance protection. So the distance protection can be used as uh, a short circuit protection, which can be tripped instantaneously if the fault located in zone uh, one. So it can be used in uh, the, uh, systems where the overcurrent relays cannot be used for the reasons of selectivity or uh, fault detection or uh, short uh, trip times so the distance protection, it will be very necessary in these cases. Also, we have differential protection. Differential protection is typically can be used for line or transformer and doesn't require the voltage uh, transformer because it will compare between the uh, current from primary side and secondary side or from the substation A and substation B in case of uh, line uh, differential uh, protection. Okay, so we have different examples. You can choose from different protection philosophy based on your power system protection uh, settings. Okay, now we will talk an example about the protection for speed. So we have the uh, in feed here, we have bus part A and circuit breaker A. We have bus part B, circuit breaker B, and bus part C, and here is the connected uh, load. So for example, the bus uh, bar uh, from A to B have a CT and VT, which is connected to uh, the main uh, protection here. And the CT only is connected to uh, overcurrent protection, which is the backup protection in our case. So what, what will happen if we have a fault on the line between substation A and uh, substation B. So here is the main protection, which is uh, having a short trip time should be isolate this fault current by opening or tripping the uh, circuit breaker A to isolate the fault current, okay? But what happened if we have a fault current between A to B and the main protection failed for any reasons? Okay, maybe the protection uh, relay power supply is off or it's having error or any uh, male uh, function or male uh, operating setting available inside the main protection. So what will happen here, the backup protection should op uh, operate after a time delay to, uh, to trip the circuit breaker A to isolate the fault. So now we achieve the redundant protection system philosophy, which is the main and the backup uh, protection. Okay, let us take an example, another example, if we have the fault between the line P and the line C. So here is the main protection of the line P and the line C. So here is taking the CT and the VT measurement from uh, the CT and the VT of the primary uh, side, and it will take an action and it will issue a trip uh, signal to isolate and to trip the circuit breaker P, then to isolate uh, the current. Okay, so here is the main protection between P to C. But what happened if we this main protection failed to break uh, based on the uh, parameter setting of the protection relay. So here is the main protection of A and B will act as a backup protection for P and C after time delay for sure, which can be represented in Z2 or Z3 and our distance protection. So it will trip after 400 milliseconds to isolate uh, this fault current to allow the main protection of P and C to trip uh, firstly. But if there is any issue, in the main protection from B to C. So the main protection of A and B will act as a backup protection for P and C faults. So here is the main protection philosophy and how to achieve the, uh, the redundancy of your protection system.